Hi, this is Bob Jackson from the Mental Toughness Academy, and I'm here with a good friend, Mike Arruzioni. Uh, Mike's from Winthrop, uh, played three sports in high school, football, hockey, and baseball, went on to BU, uh, where he played hockey at Boston University, and then went on uh, to the 1980 U.S. Olympic team, where he was captain and had a tremendous goal against the Russians. And uh, Mike, welcome, and uh, thank you, Bob. I want to thank you and for spending a few minutes with us. But uh, one of the questions I wanted to ask you is, you know, for these programs for mental toughness for teenagers, how important would you say mental toughness is uh, in your game of hockey? Well, I think it's not only important in hockey, it's important in life. I think, yeah. uh, you know, decisions that you make, um, you, you know, you've got to stand by them. And I think part of those decisions and the right choices comes from being tough mentally, knowing yeah. that you're making the right choices uh, on the ice, uh, on the field, uh, and off the field, uh, in, in, like I said, uh, in life in general. Exactly. Well, one of the things I wanted to ask you is, uh, you know, 10 days before the uh, Olympics started, you played the uh, Russian team in Madison Square Garden, and they kind of had a, a tremendous game against you. But you know, uh, ten days later, you're playing them for the gold, or you're playing them in the semifinal, which turned out to be the gold medal capability. But tell us how important the whole team was, you know, to go from being shellacked basically <laughs> to, to to coming back out here and having the confidence to be where you were. Well, I think again, it's it's the ability to believe that you can win. You know, right. I always tell people if you think you're going to lose, you probably are. Yeah. Uh, and we went into the game realizing it was going to be difficult, but we also understood that the game that we played him in the past was in the past and it was over. And I think that's when you talk about being mentally tough is to realize that and say, hey, look, that's over with. You know, it, it's ended. Now we have a new chapter, a new game to play, and let's prepare for it that way and not look back at what happened in the past. And, and part of that, in, like I said, is, is being mentally tough and prepared uh, and focused and understanding that uh, this is another venture, this is another game, this is another challenge. And I know that you have a lot of respect for Herb Brooks, and uh, Herb, Herb had a big influence, and he chose you as captain. Um, would you say, would it safe to say because he saw that you had all the No, not focus? really. It, it was a player vote, um, mm -hmm. but we had a team of captains. When you look at 19, uh, 20 guys in that team, almost every one of them was a captain of their high school team and college teams. But I think that's what maybe made our team so successful, was having that type of leadership in the locker room. Uh, again, I'll use the word mental toughness. Right. 20 guys that had that kind of ability and uh, understanding of, of what it takes to win and what it takes to be successful. Great. And as you know, the Mental Toughness Academy, we have 24 videos right now for teenagers of all sports. Uh, if you had that capability when you were back in high school, would that have been a benefit for you? Oh, absolutely. I think anytime you can watch something and learn from it, uh, we had nothing like that. Even the training, you look at the physical training the athletes go through today, that wasn't there when I was there. So I think today's athletes have a much better opportunity to be successful. Uh, again, and I'll use off the ice and off the field than, than we did. Yeah. And I think uh, videos and anything that you can show kids to make them realize what it takes to be successful uh, helps. Well, and that's what we're trying to do at the Mental Toughness Academy. We're trying to give the kids the capability to get over those anxieties, to stay focused, and to be able to go out and take their practice game over to their real game so that they can play without having any hesitations. So Mike, I want to thank you very much. We appreciate Bye. it. And, uh, Always a pleasure. Thank right, you thank very you. much. Excellent.